Roads are still blocked. The inner roads around here. This is the Alausa axis of the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. And what you can see in the background is the very ever busy Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Yes, busy right now, but no vehicular movement. A whole lot of protesters have occupied the roads. They say until the government listens to them, they are not going anywhere. It is nothing like what we've been reporting in the past few days about protesters gathering at the House of Assembly, uh, just right in front of the House of Assembly, or at Lekki. Almost everywhere you go around the Kedja right now, you see one roadblock or the other. Just a few meters away from one, there's going to be another with a lot of agitation, a whole lot of energy. Young people back on the streets saying the government must listen to them. I, I've got one of the people around here who's going to be talking to me about what he feels he's seen this morning. From what you've seen this morning, this is a protest ground from what you can see. What do you make of this? Uh, this is a revelation of bottled angers. Over the years, people have not been able to have a platform or a situation of this nature to really unbottle what has been rattling them within. But this answers protest really, you know, you discover, you see a lot of, uh, you know, people, they, they are saying different things. Some are saying answers and brutality. Some are saying ends bad governance. Some are saying, you know, different things that really, you know, are, you know, troubling their mind. And I think uh, all problems of this nature provide government opportunity to really feed the pulse of the people and what they are really going through. So to me, you know, it should not be a kind of, a, you know, situation whereby they are using, you know, military to quell because it, what they really need now is discussion, negotiation, and also the ability to really assure people that, uh, oh, we see what you are saying. I mean, we've heard you. I will receive your demand, and uh, definitely we are going to do something about it. Now, just by saying it, they have to, you know, prove it practically, and people see they are working in that direction, because if they allow it to, you know, to go on like this, I don't, you know, know where this will end, but government have to listen to what people are saying. They are saying something, listen. That's the only way you can be a good leader to the people. Thank you very much. This is pretty much what we've been getting from almost all the protesters we've been talking to all day. They say a lot of bottled anger. They say they want the government to listen and react to all their grievances and all they have to say. That is why they are back on the streets. <laughs> The Alausa axis of the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. This is the Lagos Ibadan Expressway that you know really not busy at the moment, and that is because of the fact that there are a couple of roadblocks behind me and, other, and just right behind the camera as well. A whole lot is happening. Um, let me give you an idea of what is happening in the inner roads as well. Alausa is the host to a lot of government offices here in Lagos State. All those offices are blocked at the moment. Multiple roadblocks everywhere. This is not like the protest that we've been covering in the past couple of days. This is not like where you have just um, protesters around the government office or one in Lekki. Almost everywhere you turn around Ikeja right now, you will see people gathered and they are talking about the government, that the government must act. Uh, we've been talking to a whole lot of people, and right now, let me talk to uh, one person we caught up with uh, earlier in, in the middle of the protest. Uh, please tell us your name and what you do, please. 
Okay, my name is Dr. Seriki, and I'm a member of Nigeria Youth Parliament representing Lagos East Senatorial District. Yeah, earlier you were with the protesters. Can you tell us uh, from what you got from them what the um, agitations are? Yeah, the agitation is simple and it's clear. They are not talking about just end SARS alone. They are talking about end police brutality. They are talking about end bad governance. And they are talking about paying so much attention to the needs of the youth. You know, basically, that's what the um, agitation is all about. So it's, this is agitation has gone beyond asking for um, police brutality end alone or um, end of um, SARS or what have you. But then this agitation has gone further. And I, I'll tell you, if the government is not doing every best possible they can to make this stop, this, this um, agitation can lead to where we all don't, do not even plan for. Okay, so from what you've gathered just on the roads, roadblocks everywhere, what do you make of this? Yeah, the roadblocks the road tells us about the state of mind of the youth, that they are really tired, and we are tired actually. I mean, they are really, we are really tired about what's going on around the country. We are really tired about how the government pays attention to youth and, and the needs of the youth, are, are comparing with other parts of the world, you know. So, and this tells me that the youth are really being serious right now, and they are making their demands, and hopefully we'll get it in no time. Uh, thank you very much for talking to us at, at, at this point. You heard it from him, uh, BC, what this is about. It started off as a protest against an anti-robbery squad of the police. But right now, a lot of these protesters are saying it's way beyond that right now. They want more from the government. They want the government to address these issues as fast as possible. But <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs>